So welcome to the Wednesday Word. Uh, I'm Tim Hetherington, one of the men's group here at St Michael's. Today is the 8th of July and I'm just changing up the Wednesday Word this week to let you know we shall be hosting another Alpha course again soon. If you haven't been to Alpha before, I'd really encourage you to give it a try. Uh, it's a great opportunity to explore the Christian faith with others who, who probably have very similar questions about finding meaning in their lives. And if you have been before, well, you already know how good the food is, but come back and see how Alpha has evolved. You can follow the links below to find out more, but in the meantime, here's a taster. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to Alpha. Life is busy. Every day we ask so many questions. What should I wear? What's the weather going to be like? What's happening today? How am I going to fit everything in? But then there are those bigger questions. Like, why am I here? Where am I heading? Is this it? Is there more to life than this? These are life's big questions, but there's rarely enough time to think them through properly. We all have different perspectives on the meaning of life and faith, and Alpha is an opportunity to explore life's big questions. This is a great place to come together and talk about them openly and honestly. I'm Gemma. I'm Toby. And this is Alpha. Um, I go on Google. Google. I definitely Google. I go on Wikipedia. Internet. I uh, scroll through all the different answers and then I try and combine it and then make my own kind of like cornerstone. Or smart friends. I don't ask big life questions. It's too hard to answer. Google or my grandmother. I meditate or I read. When I have a big life questions, I probably go to my family. I haven't really had any mess of what to say. To my mom or my dad, basically. My mom or my dad, maybe my grand. I get most of my answers from the library in any section there, because I don't really trust the people that I'm around. The key is always to yourself. you got to figure some things out for yourself. If I'm confused, I go to him first. And he confuses me more. But when it's something more personal, I try to find it within myself first. Friends of mine told me that the first night they came to Alpha, they sat in their car for half an hour waiting and watching people going in. And eventually when they'd seen enough normal looking people going in, they thought they'd give it a try. And one thing that might be going through your mind is, am I going to be the only one there who doesn't believe all this stuff, who's not a Christian that doesn't go to church? Well, if that's you, then you're in the right place. Alpha is designed for people who wouldn't call themselves Christians or who are not regular churchgoers. It might feel a bit strange to be discussing life and faith with people that you've never met before, but the best thing about Alpha is often the great friendships that are formed over the weeks. For much of my life, I was not remotely interested in Christianity. In fact, I don't think I'd ever come to something like Alpha. I was not brought up as a Christian. My father was a secular Jew. He was an agnostic, and my mother didn't go to church, uh, and I had no interest at all in Christianity. First of all, I just thought it was so boring. Everything to me about church, Christianity, religion was just dull and dreary. And it kind of made me feel a little bit guilty. I didn't know why, but I just didn't want to have anything to do with it. And I also thought it was untrue. I, I thought I'd sort of thought it through and uh, I'd come up with these intellectual objections and I call myself very pretentiously, I call myself a logical determinist. And I quite enjoyed arguing with people who called themselves Christians. And at university I had a bit of a reputation for being an argumentative atheist. And I also thought it was irrelevant to my life. I couldn't see how someone who'd lived 2,000 years ago, 2,000 miles away, could have any relevance to my life today. It just seemed outdated and irrelevant. The actor Jim Carrey once said, I wish everyone could get rich and famous and have everything they've ever dreamed of, so they would know that's not the answer. Some people dream of having their name in lights, of fame and fortune. Some people dream of finding happiness through relationships, careers, money, whatever it may be. But do you ever get that niggly feeling that as good as those things are, 
there must be more to life. Yeah, all too often life just doesn't turn out the way we think it should. And even when it does and we achieve our wildest dreams, it's somehow never quite enough. It just doesn't satisfy. It's like there's something missing. The comedian and actor Russell Brand said, drugs and alcohol are not my problem. Reality is my problem. Drugs and alcohol are my solution to fill up a hole inside me. And Jesus said, I am the bread of life. In other words, I'm the one who fulfills the longing that's deep inside every human heart. Jesus claimed to be the one person who can satisfy that spiritual hunger.